In this video, we'll discuss limits in higher dimensions, and in particular, polynomials and rational functions. Using the limit properties, we can calculate limits of polynomials and rational functions as xy goes to x0, y0 by evaluating the functions at x0, y0. In other words, we plug in the point. So we're just going to evaluate the function at that point. The only requirement is that the rational functions be defined at the point x0, y0. And this works for other functions, other types of functions as well. So in our example, we're asked to evaluate the following limit. Limit as xy goes to 2, negative 3 of the function quantity 1 over x plus x to the fourth over y squared minus 7 quantity squared. So what we want to do is check and this function is continuous and it's defined at the point 2, negative 3. So we plug in the point. So I plug in a 2 for x and a negative 3 for y and I get 1 half plus 2 to the fourth over negative 3 squared minus 7 all squared. So now this is the quantity 1 half plus 16 halves quantity squared and that's equivalent to 17 over 2 quantity squared. So I get 289 over 4 as my final limit. So anytime you're able to just plug in the point that's what you do. Just plug it in and that's your limit. In this one we want to evaluate the following limit by first rewriting the fraction. We have the limit as xy approaches 1, 1 with the um, restriction x cannot equal y because that would not, would not be in our domain of our function of x squared minus 2xy plus y squared all over x minus y. So Notice that this is not defined at the point 1, 1. And so that's why we're trying to rewrite the fraction. And rewriting the fraction um, is a good method when you can factor or rationalize. So if I had the square root of some expression minus 2, um, I might want to rationalize if I could not just plug in my point. So this is equivalent to the limit as xy approaches 1, 1, and I do have to write my limit part every time in order to be correct, of x minus y and I'm hoping that that is a factor of the top so that I can uh, cancel it with the denominator. So x minus y and what's left over? Well, an x minus y is left over. So x minus y times x minus y is equivalent to the numerator. This is all over x minus y. And now I can cancel a factor of x minus y from both the top and the bottom. And so this is equivalent to the limit as xy goes to 1, 1 of the function x minus y. And now I can just plug in my point. So I get 1 minus 1, and I see that my limit is 0. So whenever possible, you just plug in the point to find the limit. And if you can't plug in the point, but it's easy to either factor or rationalize, then you just rewrite your fraction first and then plug in the point.